You're probably sick and tired of hearing about chat GPT already. And I am too, quite frankly. And the whole reason why I'm making this video is because even for the last, well, five or six years, people have been saying that artificial intelligence is going to take over the help desk or it's going to take over entry level IT work. This has been said before chat GPT was even a thought in your head. Before you even heard that name before, people have been saying that AI was going to take over the help desk. And here we are in 2023 and chat GPT has been around for a little bit. Now it's obviously pretty new still, not taking over anything just yet, but even still for years, people have been saying that AI will take over these types of positions. Now this isn't anything new. AI has been involved in some type of help desk or more specifically customer support related positions positions, roles, or services for a long time now. AI chatbots have been really kind of helpful in many instances. They are widely used out on the internet for customer support or like social media nowadays. They can come in handy, but will those replace a help desk position or an entry level IT role? No, it's not going to happen. Will it reduce some of those roles? Yeah, there's definitely a possibility and there's always that possibility when you start looking at AI. But at the end of the day, what you have to understand, what nobody talks about, the one thing that that AI is never going to be able to troubleshoot effectively, efficiently, intelligently, artificially, if you will, at the top level. Maybe this will happen years from now, but we are not there yet. But AI will not be able to interact or work with or troubleshoot with end users. And if you've worked in IT for any amount of time, you will understand that. And if specifically, if you've worked in some type of help desk or entry level IT role, you will more so so understand that your end users are going to come at you with the most ludicrous, ridiculous, obscure, obnoxious issues that you have never seen before in your entire life. In fact, this has happened to me and many people that I have worked with many times throughout the years, throughout different organizations that I have been involved with. A user will come to myself or somebody on the team with an issue and somebody will always say, I've never seen Seen that one before there's always some type of issue that's going to come at you and your team that's just like so outside of the box that you're like how did a user even get to this point of having this type of issue now i can't remember a lot of those specifics but one that comes to mind is just troubleshooting an issue with a an end user in relation to their mobile device and we had to go back and forth with this person for weeks to the resolution of this issue and i just cannot imagine a time or place where ai is going to be able to work with an end user in that uh, type of aspect to come to that resolution of an issue. It's going to take a lot of work still for AI to get to that point. And again, if you've, if you've worked in IT, you'll definitely understand this. If you've never worked in an entry level IT role or a help desk role, or even a customer service type of role, you might not understand why AI is not at a point right now to completely take over these positions. Now, AI is at a pivotal standpoint for you right now. If you're looking to help you in your help desk role, help you advance you maybe outside of that role or to really kind of hone down your skills in a help desk role. I've been utilizing chat GPT in the last few days to come up with a few different prompts just to kind of wrap our heads around and help a help desk role and what that role entails and what are the key aspects of a help desk role and you know, their duties, their responsibilities, you know, the skills and the things that they're looking for to make the best kind of help desk technician or help desk professional or entry level IT professional. There's a lot of use cases there where you can utilize chat GPT to help you craft and build better emails back to your end users, or where you can utilize it to create better documentation. A great example for this is I don't know how many times you get a phone call working in the help desk where a user said, I've lost access to my shared drive. And you know, an easy solution for that is you could remote into that machine and you could, you know, do it for them. If you have have that capability. Another maybe quick way to do that is to have that user log out, log back in, maybe that to restart their system. Sometimes the drives will uh, remap that way, or you can have documentation available to them. Another great use case for chat GPT is creating documentation. I cannot tell you how easy I have found it to help put steps together to kind of help really kind of uh, like fine tune some of those technical details. So when you're not utilizing AI and chat GPT to help you learn more about things, I highly recommend 
ITProTV. Use the coupon code ITCQ30. They have tons of material over there to help you walk through all of the different certifications or almost all of the different certifications that exist out there in the IT world, specifically ones that are going to take you into the help desk, like the CompTIA trifecta, CompTIA A+, Net+, Security+, and so many other areas of focus like Microsoft, Cisco, and the cloud, and of course, cybersecurity as well. Make sure you use that coupon code ITCQ30. It'll save you 30%. But again, highly recommended. They have virtual labs and practice labs. And of course, as you're learning some of the material over there, utilize chat GPT to prompt you with different questions and scenarios as you are learning about some of these different new uh, tools and skills and methodologies. Now, ChatGPT isn't there to replace me in any aspect, right? It's not there to replace that role. ChatGPT is only a tool, and that's all AI is right now at this standpoint. It's a great tool to help you advance yourself, to help you advance your skills. You still have to have a fundamental knowledge of things, but you can also use ChatGPT to help teach you things. So a great example that I'm going to show you in a future video is we'll walk you through actually using ChatGPT. GPT to prompt you with like CompTIA A plus questions. So we'll feed it all of the information that's openly available from CompTIA to build out a great questionnaire for you. So you could use chat GPT to build out a great study guide for you based on the open information that CompTIA shares about their A plus. So we'll go over stuff like that. And you have to think outside the box. How else can we utilize AI to our advantage? Working in entry level IT, you may have access to PowerShell. You are probably utilizing Active Directory, Microsoft Exchange. There are so many use cases where you could take advantage of ChatGPT to help teach you PowerShell. And that is a great way to help you advance yourself in a help desk role or in an entry level IT role and start learning more advanced skills to help you go to the next levels of your career ultimately. So AI isn't going to take over help desk or entry level IT anytime soon or anytime in the next five to 10 years, I would imagine. There is still a lot of work that needs to be done because again, interacting with end users is, it can be very difficult. It can be very, very challenging. Now you can utilize chat GPT to feed you prompts about interacting with end users. Say, Hey, prompt me with the scenario of an end user who is being difficult and who is trying to troubleshoot their printer and chat GPT will obviously feed you some kind of information about some type of scenario there, or some type of example, and it will walk you through some of the steps that you could take with troubleshooting a printer scenario like that. So there's many different ways that you can utilize AI right now to help you in your current career. Or if you're brand new to IT and just trying to get your foot in the door, utilize chat GPT and other AI tools to help you learn. That is the best use case right now for AI. It is an invaluable tool to help you further your education. It's not going to replace you in any way. Now you could utilize chat GPT to do everything for you. And that is the absolute worst thing that you could do because you're not going to learn anything from it. At the end of the day, there is still flaws in the system. It is only artificial intelligence, right? It's only as good as, well, we help make it every day that we use it. And every second we input data in there, but we're making it better or worse for us, depending on how you look at that, right? Skynet. The point is, it still has a long way to go. It's still going to require quite a bit of work to get it to a point to where it needs to be to take over some of these different positions in, you know, the grand scheme of the world of information technology. So don't worry right now about AI taking over help desk and entry level IT work. It's just not going to happen. Good luck dealing with your end users because at the end of the day, chat GPT is only going to take you so far when it comes to, you know, dealing with them. But there are a ton of great use cases where AI could be beneficial for you and automatic, you know, password resets and things like that. Very kind of fundamental based um, troubleshooting steps that can be taken. You could build out a chat bot for your work environment, where if a user loses access to their share drive, you could just use chat GPT to actually create the documentation to walk a user through the steps that, it, you know, they would take to remap their drive. And you could build that into your chat bot. You know, that could be a great use case that you could introduce in 
to your environment. Look into that. You could actually use chat GPT right now to say, Hey, what would I need to do to introduce a chat bot into my work environment? And you could use APIs to tie that into your help desk, to tie that into active directory. Oh, there's so many things that you could do with this. And chat GPT can definitely help you do that. It can teach you to do these things, right? It can help you learn and understand some of that information. And these could be great ways to help you learn more, but you really have to take the time to learn and understand the different steps that are being taken, the different tools that are being used, the different scripts that are being written to do these things. It is now the ultimate learning tool for you. So good luck to you and I'll see you in the next video.